Hi, here we are with today's bedtime story. I think this is going to be a fun one. Hide and seek book, favorite fairy tales. And we have to find the hidden objects in each fairy tale. This book is by Katie Keck Arsteca. Is that what it says? Arstein. Arstein. I love these, don't you? Seek and find. Let's see. Okay. Snow White. The seven dwarfs are hiding from Snow White. Can you find them? Do you see them? Hope you're finding them. I see one, two, three, four. I only see four. Do you see some? There should be seven. Hansel and Gretel. The witch has lost her broom. Can you help her find it? Ooh, she's lost her broom. Where could it be? The broom. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit. Do you see the broom? Maybe I should do this on the first page. Did you see the broom? I did actually find the broom. Do you want me to show you? Here it is. Whoops. There it is. Okay, let's go back to the first page. And let's try to find the seven dwarfs. Zoomed in. <gasps> There's one. One. Oh. There's one. Oops. <laughs> There's one. Two. Oh, I see one. <laughs> Three. Four, five, did we count that one? Oh, we did. Five, six, seven. Seven. There we go. Very good. We did eat some bread. The princess and the pea. During the night, the queen put a green pea under the stack of mattresses to test the princess. But the pea fell out and rolled away. Can you find it? Ah, this is going to be super hard, I think. Okay, well, we will start on the floor because that would make sense, wouldn't it? That a pea would be on the floor. see it yet. Do you see it? Hmm. I do not see it. be pretty obvious. I would assume that those aren't the peas. I don't think this is the pea. I don't think that's a pea. Hmm. This is super hard. I 
could you have found it? I have not found it. I will have to keep looking. Maybe you found it. Good for you. I'm really usually pretty good at this. Hmm. I feel like maybe it's in one of the the an maybe one of the animal has it. Like one of the birds. Not found it. Sleeping Beauty. The needle and spindle that put the princess to sleep has disappeared. Can you find this needle and spindle? Ooh. Well, let's start here. Hmm. It has disappeared. A needle and a spindle. Should be like a pointy thing. Sort of looks like a top, I think. We don't have a lot of experience with spindles, do we? I think I see it. Do you see it? Looks like everybody is still sleeping. Do you see it? I think. There it is. There it is. Hmm. If you don't know the story, that might be a hard thing to find. Rumpelstiltskin. I love this story. After the woodsman told the miller's daughter the name of the dwarf, he left the castle, but forgot his hatchet. Can you find the hatchet? Now here is a spindle. That's what we found in the other picture. So now we're looking for a hatchet. A hatchet is sort of like an axe. That should be easier to find. Do you see it? Like an axe. Hmm, I love the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Do you see it? Like a hatchet. Oh, I see it. Do you see it? <gasps> there it is. really hidden. Really hidden. The Pied Piper of Hamelin. When the Pied Piper rid the town of rats, he missed one. Can you find the rat he left behind? Oh, this is going to be a good one. We all know what a rat looks like. Let's start at the bottom. you see any rats? I see a lot of people. No rats. We'll go up through the crowd a little bit. Rats. The rat is like a big mouse. Right? Hmm. Look over here. Hmm. This one is super hard, isn't it? Do you see it? I see it. I 
think I do. Do you see it? I might. Is that it? Does that look like a rat? I think that does look like a rat. Yes, look at the tail. I think we found it. Good job. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack wants to find the goose that lays the golden eggs. Do you know where it is? The goose. Oh, we know what a goose looks like. Let's look for the goose. Now there's lots of birds. Lots of birds already. There's chickens and ducks. I think that's another chicken. Some kind of bird. Mm -hmm. I don't see it yet. Do you? A goose. And a goose. Mm -hmm. I would say that that's not it. Just because they're birds. You see it? Hmm. Oh, I see it. I think I see it. What do you think? Does that look like a goose? I think so. Look at that beak. That's a goose's beak. Good job. Oh, wow. Look at this party. Cinderella. Cinderella has lost one of her glass slippers at the ball. Can you find it before the clock strikes midnight? Mm. One of her shoes. This is going to be super hard, I think. Is this Cinderella? Okay, that's Cinderella. Ooh, and there's a rat. Look at that. Cinderella's shoe. It looks like this one, I think. Can I find the other one? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. Let's go over here. This one is really hard, isn't it? Really hard. Hmm, I might have to quit on this one. Do you see it? Maybe you saw it. <gasps> oh! I see it. Look, that's a silly place for a shoe. There it is. Huh, I'm sneaky there. Rapunzel. Oh, I love that story too. Rapunzel has lost the pretty red comb that the witch gave her for her hair. Ooh, can you find it? A pretty red comb. Well, it's red. So that helps, knowing what color it is. Okay, let's see if we can find it. A comb. It's something that she puts in her hair. Looking for red. Oh, that is so hard. Something to use for her hair. Let's go over here. She does need to comb her hair. Look how long it is. Wow, it's super long. Hmm. Do 
Did you see it? Did you see it? Red cone. Oh, I see it. There it is. There it is. That's a comb. <laughs> Good job. This is the last page. Beauty and the Beast. Somewhere in the magical rose garden, the beast has lost his crown. Oh, this has to be super easy, right? A crown. Can you help him find it? A crown. Mm. Oh, I remember Beauty and the Beast with the flowers, the roses. Hmm. Do you see it? A crown? Hmm. I don't see it. A crown could be multiple colors, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. Oops. Because it's gold, but it, that's not it. Hmm. Did you see it? Did you see it? <gasps> oh, I see it. There it is. There it is, that's a crown for sure. Great job. Well, I hope you enjoyed this bedtime story, the seek and find. Let's say our bedtime prayers now. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Guide you me gently through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. I hope you sleep super sweet. See you tomorrow.